Thank you very much for completing day two's assessment. Let's go through. In day one, you covered the foundations. In day two, we covered how to build long-term habits. In day three, we're gonna talk about this problem of you stopping in programs in the past, which left you with no results and doubting whether you ever do another program again. This is important to address because you can have the perfect plan, the perfect mentor, but if you stop, unfortunately, you will fall short of rediscovering your identity in yourself. At the end of today's training, you will do an assessment to find out why you stopped in the past. What caused you to stop? Do you see this consistently in your life? When it gets too hard or things don't go to plan, you quit. This step is important because it's the next building block on top of the foundations, the habits that you've built, having a crystal clear path so that it gives you certainty and clarity on the journey so that you don't stop. The problem that you have right now is when you lack clarity of where your long-term vision is, you don't do the daily work. And when you don't do the daily work, you ultimately don't get to the results that you're truly after and therefore you remain stuck. This leaves you feeling stuck, you feel numb to your problems and pains and, and this feeling of no clarity in your life leads to affecting your decision making. You do things that you think are right, but they are, are not, and it leads you down a path that you don't wanna go. This starts to affect your daily mood. People always say that you're always negative. You're not nice to be around, so you don't go out like you used to. You don't engage with your partner anymore because he doesn't wanna be around you. Now this leaves you lonely, upset, and stuck. This lack of clarity in your health and fitness journey leads to inaction because you no longer see the point in sacrificing and waking up early, training, eating well, if you don't know where it's all leading to. Therefore, you're feeling burnt out and lost. You don't know why you keep staying stuck or can't seem to follow through. And it's because you lack certainty on why you do what you do, which causes you to stop. In step three, we're gonna go through the four steps you need to gain absolute certainty and clarity on your path. Path building number one on your nutrition and training, which will allow you to understand what is the vision for your training and nutrition. What is the results that you can achieve long-term, that you can feel more certain? Path number two is building long-term goals. Goal setting around why you're doing what you're doing. What are the benefits when I achieve these goals? Path building number three is in the daily work. What are my daily actions I need to take in order to get to where I wanna be? Small daily goals compounding in growing your character, your skills, and your results. And path number four is on reflection. Every week improving, becoming 1% better. We wanna improve and make sure that we're not aimlessly doing things, that we're doing things for a reason. So from these four steps, in building a crystal clear path, you will achieve clarity and certainty on what exactly you need to do every single day. When you move more certainty each day, there is nothing that will stop you because you know it's only a matter of time before you achieve your results. You will not stop. When the path is clear, you will do the work. When you have set the foundations and the habits and now the crystal clear plan, you know what caused you to fail in the past, you know the habits you need to build right now, but you also know how the future is gonna look. Step three is all about having a crystal clear path on how you're going to get there. When you have clarity and certainty, you will action and you will get to where you wanna be. You will stop stopping in programs like you've done in the past. So, once again, you're gonna complete day three's assessment below. And you're gonna complete that assessment as always, gonna be as honest as possible. We're gonna send that email to you and your answers are gonna be private. And then I want you to look out for day four. In day four, in the last day, we're gonna talk about something really exciting, which is the key and the cherry on the cake to ultimately you rediscovering your identity. Go ahead and do assessment number three.